Let's do it. Welcome to the splendiferous, wonderful, tastic world of Paper Tiger. Hello, my pretties. No. <laughs> We've got yes, the creator of this game, Liam. I uh, probably the first game I ever made. Well, except for maybe Crescent Sun that I made when I was like a kid. So, anyways, we see the curious crab, the sly snake, my friend the rock some flies and me <laughs> and me the guy with this grin of evil <laughs> that was made by um uh piece by software oh so paul yeah. made this yeah you should probably put a link um to it like to the picture and that okay we'll do let's just start and see what we got Piece of pie software. <laughs> You'd actually recognize the art style when you play some of their games as well. Oh. Presents. Mm. A game made by Stark. Oh, yeah? A.K.A. Liam. Paper Tiger. That's a, that's a beautiful intro. Oh, cheers. Again, that was made by Pops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So all credit to them. Except for this part. This part was me. Really? This song? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's loads of fun fights in music. The army! <laughs> one amongst them chooses not to go. I think I must have made this one as about... Uh, 15 years old maybe? 14, 15? Oh. He slowly advances towards the computer. I think I'm gonna press enter. Shift Z <laughs> apparently. Okay. Oh right, yeah, dude. I, re I remember what the mini key is. It's uh, shift. Oh. And my insides are being uh, churned out. <laughs> An escape um, is to activate any kind of power up items you've got equipped. It's very incomplete, this game, then. <laughs> so, by the way, do you ever get all these sigils to get to these special items? Um, you can get a few of them, but as I said, the game is completely incomplete. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, well... Although there is there is a few things you can check out in that room. You can go to the trading room. <laughs> <laughs> is I'm... there a door that appears randomly as well? I can't remember. I don't know if that's still in there. Uh... I need rainbow sigil and some stuff. Is it? Do you go back here at some point? Oops. Oh yeah, you can probably tell how bad my um my spelling was back then as well. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's so many typos in this game. So far, I haven't seen any typos, but I do see fish swimming in the uh the acid trip water. <laughs> the unlimited haven. Let's see. Let's. Not go to Alborn Island yet. Let's talk to Mr. Laffy. Okay, so this guy saves. These things are. Do you hold the techite? Oh, so those are all the animals, right? Um. Okay, at the end of each world, um, if you've collected all the crystals, they'll move out of the way. Um, so that would have been like. From what would have been the world before you returned to the Unlimited Haven. Uh. In the in the whole plan I had down, but as I said it's only I only finished four worlds of the game and then uh, stopped working on it. Yeah, sadly. That's that's what's happening, people. We're playing an unfinished game and it really doesn't tell us much. <laughs> so <laughs> I have a little mini guide. So without further ado, let's uh let's venture into it so people can actually see what this game's like. <laughs> You should probably explain something about the, um, the retaliation system. Although, I'm sure you'll be able to demonstrate it. Yeah, um, you don't just go straight up to enemies and slash them. Like, for these slimes, you just let them come to you, and then oh, they yeah, have- John, if you want to get a perfect, you just have to take no damage, get uh, the extra lives, and get the crystal on the level. Uh, okay, I think I could do that on this level, maybe. I've killed <laughs> one slime so far. But yeah, if I continuously slash without letting it come to me, I'm more than likely going to miss, or it is going to evade me. Or it'll charge at you, or it'll do all sorts of things. Depends on the enemy, they've all got different retaliation styles. Yeah. Like patterns. <clears throat> and we're on our way to a perfect. 
Hopefully get... the extra lives have spawned on this level. Have they? Uh... The dog did. Uh, because you need the extra lives to get the perfect, unfortunately. That's the oh, is it the blue crystal thing? No, it looks like wings. It should be out Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. Three lives obtained. Oh, sound. Sweet. And if you get the crystal, um, and then go to the exit, you should get a perfect. Okay. And that will increase your score, and if you press shift, you can check your points or your score. Yes, crystals! These are gonna be a bitch to get later on. <laughs> oh, born fields complete! Yeah, I got an animal. PERFECT! <laughs> um, yeah, when you go to the next level, press shift, and I think it should bring a menu up. Um, it won't work on the main menu, though. Uh, oh, when you go to the next level? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like, when you're in the next level, just press the shift key. Okay, let's save first. By the way, why am I a cat? <laughs> I'm sure you could ask many of the same questions about Sublime. You get the same kind of randomness in Paper Saga. <laughs> I guess that's true. Okay, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show them the boss, the the secret boss. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> because it's amazing. Right, just try this thing up first. Press um shift. Ah, huh. damn it! He hit me. But yeah, lives are your health, basically, and these things are evil. <laughs> Come here. Die! Yes, face me, you ugly beast. Shift. I will yeah, spite shift. thee. Press shift. Should okay. Work. Did it bring a menu up? Yes, it did. Status. Oh, okay, you have played for H0M4S59. You have saved H three times. Uh, does it tell you points as well? I got 14. Yay. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Oh, hey, look, the extra life thingy spawned. Oh, sound. Some levels always have them. Um, I'm not too sure if in the version you've got they always spawn, or if otherwise. I'm not too sure if I changed it. It's random. <laughs> All right, if it is random. <laughs> because... I think I, only, I, think I t only took it out in really newer versions, and I think I lost the kind of really up-to-date version I was with on last. Well, the weird thing is, when I played this last time, these things never spawned. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, so it is random, man. Yep. Now we gotta fight the goblin on the bridge. Oh, wait, no. He's like, <laughs> what the? Come here. Ah! Come here. Shit. Yeah, those guys, best just to spam. Spam attack him. Oh, yeah. That does work. Very well. <laughs> okay, let's go get the animal. Do you know where the animal is on this one? No, don't tell me. I'll find it. Okay. He's hiding somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, just one more thing, dude. Does escape do anything? Escape? Yeah. Nope. It just gives me the eh eh noise. Oh, okay, yeah, so it does work. It just means you haven't got uh, any kind of special item equipped. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna fight you, Mr. Optional Boss, yet. <laughs> I... Yeah, I tried fighting it. I didn't realize how fast the damn thing is. It's ridiculously fast. Animal... Where are you? Oh, what? Oh, you put a hidden path somewhere over there. What? <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> is it what I think it is? Is there an invisible path? No, do you recognize the background, by the way, for this area? I've only just realized it's actually been used in Sublime as well. Really? Yeah, but I don't think you'll remember where. Probably not. Do you remember the room with the with the the saw room? I found the animal. <laughs> yes, I remember the room with the saws. That's the same background as this area, I think. Ah, I wonder. Maybe by accessing the animal, the crystal path appears now. Maybe. Yes, it does. Sweet. <laughs> hey, I didn't get it perfect. Oh well. Oh yeah, I didn't show the Don't... optional boss either. Ah, uh, no worries. You should just do them on a separate file smart after you've played through it, man. Cause... I guess. <laughs> you don't want people seeing that, do you? They're welcome. You're welcome to try them, but I really did like. I didn't hold back. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, I think we'll do one more level and then we'll call it a video. Okay, you should um. Oh, what was I gonna say? Okay, Rocky Shores. Don't, there's no major secrets on this one. Uh, the, extra, the extra lives are hidden there. Oh, let's do Avalon Road, because that one's fun. 
<laughs> so basically this one, run for your life. If you ever get a hold of this game. And get that. And also, you need to look very hard for this stupid animal. And look, a magical barrier appeared. Oh, that's right, these things. <laughs> I forgot about these things. <laughs> Not these things. <laughs> that can a good example of retaliation buttons on these. Yes, they can stun and combo you. I just need to get it to go in a vertical pattern like that. There we go. <laughs> oh no! Don't don't do that. No, stop it. <laughs> Evil rock things. They have like an R on their chest. Are they Team Rocket? What oh, the plant things? Yes, they have an R on their chest. It's like they're Team Rocket or something. Do they? Yes. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> no combo. Combos are bad. How many lives do you have? Twenty-seven. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, in a second, I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> Come on. Come here! Aw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! <laughs> get away! Oh, I think I'm stun locked for good. No, I'm good. <laughs> These things are so evil. Uh. <sighs> if I die, it'll just take me back to my save, right? Um, yeah, when you load it, it'll take you back to where you last saved at. Um, like, the number of lives you get, is that the max, and like, after you beat a level, does it refill all your lives? No, no. Okay, so basically, I should kill myself now. <laughs> because of Tyrannus, just because of Tyrannus, and nobody, nobody's gonna know about that until the end. Well, dude, like, you're gonna end up killing yourself a lot if that's the case, because you do get, remember, if you get the animal on the level, it rewards you bonus lives equal to the amount of enemies killed on the level. Oh, There's really? Extra lives on every level, and every time you beat a boss, you get extra lives, and every time you beat a world, you get extra lives. Still, I want lives. I want tons and tons and tons of lives. <laughs> <laughs> there, we died. Or not? Oh. Yay, now everybody gets to see what the dust sequence is. Liam's face, or it's some demon? I swear, that looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> and also, there's a unicorn with half its torso missing. It's great stuff. So yeah, Shit. now we load. That was a bit of a random thing that I found. This. Yeah. It's good. Okay. Avalon Road. Dun -dun -dun -dun. By the way, yes, that is Goemon that you see for a split second. <laughs> he gets fighting later, John. I can't wait. <laughs> It's so badly made at that point as well. It's so badly made at that point as well, is that what you said? Oh, some of the bosses are just really badly made though. I love the first boss. Ah, uh, that was not too bad. That's the furthest I've played. For those watching. You should do the first boss. Come on. Like, how long have you been recording? I don't know. Come on. Die. Because after you beat three levels, you can take on the first boss anyway. Come on. <laughs> Come on! Oh yeah, your points will also um, be based on like how much damage you've taken out and the enemies you kill and stuff like that as well. I'm surprised it's not based on accuracy. Okay, for some reason I can hit it better here than there? Whatever. I think you also get quite a bit of time quite a bit of points for getting a perfect as well. I could try for a perfect here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Did you get extra lives? Yeah, I got them. Oh, okay, cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How come I can't hit th you through the rock? <laughs> <laughs> That's giving you some trouble, is it, John? Yeah, the... I swear they're like timing changed or something, because I've been using the strategy I used before. There we go, I killed one. Okay, two to go. <laughs> one down, many to go. Come on. Get up here. 